Okay. Shit, I just saw I just saw you Sunday, didn't I? In the truck. Wow. All right, bro. Well, I'll call you here in a few. We gotta get on this stuff, though. We gotta get on this. All right, bye. Hey, good morning, San Antonio. My name is Keith Jones. I'm with JT Renovation of Property. What we do is we buy homes. We buy the ugliest homes that we can find, and then we fix them up. So what we're doing today and, what we're, and the reason why we're doing this because a lot of people come up to me and say, hey, I want to get in the business, or how do you do this, or how do you do that? You know, I watch HDTV, and I see a lot of things that they do, but they don't show you the things that really go behind the scene. Now, all homes aren't all the same, but the process is pretty much the same. You always have to dot your I's and cross your T's. You always have to make sure all your permits are pulled. You ought to, to make sure that the engineers are doing what they're supposed to do. And me being an investor and a contractor, that's what I do. I just make sure that everything gets done. Uh, we'll, we'll walk a floor plan. We'll explain about the leveling. We'll explain about the, uh, the electrical that we'll be putting in, the plumbing that we're putting in. So we'll do everything that we can to demonstrate how this is supposed to be done and we'll try to make it a little bit easier to, for people to understand as we're doing this. But welcome San Antonio. We look forward to seeing you more and hopefully you'll follow through this adventure, this, this journey that we have. We look forward to doing it with you. So this is a 310 Preston. We've already started some work. If you notice, we've already done the leveling. The good thing about this project is it's in Denver Heights. <clears throat> it's not uh, in a historic district, so we can really do a full remodel and uh, put our ideas to work here. Uh, you notice the exterior of the home, we want to try to keep as much of the, the historic or the uh, history of the home. So a lot of the siding that you see is uh, it's in pretty good shape. The base of the house looks really, really good. Um, and then uh, we'll, we'll redo this whole deck. We'll put some stairs down and just make it look really, really good. You know, there's a couple of things that I always want to tell everybody that who's ever watching or who's ever we're talking to. You know, it takes a lot to do this leveling. So we as a contractor, we uh, get all of our permits. We pull all of our permits. We get an engineer to come out and check all of the, uh, the piers, the concrete piers the spacing and everything to make sure it's done right. And then we have to turn all that stuff into the city. Everything that we're doing inside this house is permitted through the city. They come, they check everything. They make sure that we're doing the things right. And we take a lot of pride in that. So, you know, this house is gonna be from top to bottom, inspected, electrical, plumbing, AC, the leveling, the roof, the windows, everything that we do, we do by phases. And we also do that with the uh, help of the city. They, they stand by their due diligence of making sure that we as contractors do everything right. So we have that on our side. So once you see the finished product, know that there's steps in those levels that we'll go to and we'll walk, that, we'll walk you through there as we go. We've already changed the roof. 
and we'll go along and any rotten wood and uh, that we'll replace. Of course, we're going to replace all the new windows and get them up to date to more energy efficient windows. But uh, you know, for the most part, got a lot of work to do on the outside, but that's not as much as we do on the inside. With a nice driveway, we're going to concrete everything in, go all the way back. Like I said, uh, you know, it's just this is an incredible, incredible house. And we're going to see what we can do and, and bring it back to life, basically. You know, every, every home has its, its own history, has its own bones. And I always say we're going to, you know, put, the, put it in surgery, you know, and, and make the bones a little bit stronger. But we're going to go back to the back of the house. And uh, you'll see this is a, we're talking about the washer and dryer. We'll have access to the go through from the outside. So people don't have to go through the outside. I mean, go from the front back around. So we'll have access here. Have a huge, uh, huge uh, a backyard with uh, with some concrete. We'll get rid of and we'll we'll give them a nice driveway. So if they have an RV or something like that, they can pull in. But I'm really excited. The, the one thing about this house that I really like it gives me a lot of different options. It gives me a lot of things to play with. You know, like I said, we're building upstairs. We're going to make a, uh, uh, some rooms up there, and they have access to the back of the house, which is really, really something different. So what we're going to do is we're going to give whoever buys this home a place to where they can come upstairs and they can you just enjoy the outside. So what we're going to do is we're going to, if you, if you look this way, you'll see the door. There's a door here. This is coming out of the outside upstairs. So what we're going to do is we're going to build a porch. And so they can come out. Instead of just going to the room, they can just sit up there and enjoy some of the natural air and the space that uh, that's available. So I, I think it's going to be really, really good. We'll make a deck on the back of the house so they can come out, have uh, they can sit and enjoy, uh, enjoy it on the, just on the first level. But I'm really excited about the second level. It just gives it another dimension to the home. And uh, I think you'll be real, really impressed once we get done with it. So what we're going to do is we're going to go inside <clears throat> and see what the guys are doing today. See, they're, they're doing some uh, cleanup, getting ready to start doing the framing of this house. What we just did was we were walking in what actually is going to be the living room. It doesn't look like much right now, but when we get done, it's going to look very spectacular. Here, we're going to have a, our kitchen, and then we're going to have our dining area, and then we're going to have our wash area, uh, pantry, and it's going to be a spectacular house. This house is uh, built in 1927. So you can see the old wood that we have. And then uh, you know, we're just going to do some reframing. There, there's no upstairs. So when you really, like I said, we're going to really do some, some spectacular things. We're going to build upstairs, make it a two-story uh, two home with two rooms and two bathrooms up there. It's going to look really good. What are we doing today? How are we doing today? All right. Good, good. Yes, sir. So uh, this is one of the living rooms, that uh, living spaces as far as a bedroom. And uh, there was an entryway here, so we closed this off, making this going into a walk-in from here. Uh, so when you walk out, you'll be able to walk into the bathroom so they have access to the bathroom and for the, for the house. And then we have a, a room here. So what we're going to do here is we close this off. And we're going to put the door over on the side of uh, the dining room and everything. And that's going to be our master bedroom. And we're going to have a walk-in shower and a walk-in closet. It's going to be really nice. So if you look over over here, we have access to the upstairs. So we have stairs going this way, old stairs. Very old design. Like I said, this, this house was built in 1927. So we're going to take the stairs out of where the master bedroom is going to be, put them over here so we have easy access for going upstairs and downstairs. Incredible, credible, credible design. And then of course, this is gonna be our walkway, we have access to the outside. So really, uh, you really can't really tell, but this house has a lot of character. And uh, man, we're really excited to do this job. This is really a big job. The guys are working hard and I think you'll be pleasantly surprised once we get there. So what we're gonna be doing from here is <clears throat> Now we're going to start putting, adding some walls and uh, really getting the design together. So the next time you come, you'll, you'll be able to see where we were 
and where we're, where we're at. And it's going to be really, really good to see. So we'll have the walls up. Uh, we'll start designing the upstairs so you'll be able to see it and everything like that. Really, really incredible. And, uh, you know, I don't know what to tell you except for we're just going to keep going and step by step. Hopefully you guys, you know, you stay with us, follow us, and uh, see this thing come to fruition. So you see all the attic space you can see up here through this way here. So all that right now is going to be, it's just attic space. It's living area. This home, this home was deemed by the city as a two-story, so there's living space up there. So we're just going to do a full remodel up there and uh, put some rooms up there in the bathroom. But you see they're going up there, carrying up the wood. So next time when you come, you'll be able to see what we've done from there. So that's pretty much our design of what we're going to be doing. It's going to be, it's right now, it's, it's just a shell, but we're going to make it a 3-2 uh, with an open floor plan. And uh, I think you'll be excited once we get done. All right? One, two, three, four, so 1234 Iowa Street. That's another home that we're doing right now. We're at the same phase. So let's go see what they're doing and see what kind of progress we're making out there. Just go straight. Off over here, must be your girlfriend or something. Oh, yeah, right or left. Oh, sorry, let's go uh, left. Another day in a lifetime. Let's see. Uh, I need to call. Call my production manager. Just uh, turn, uh, turn left here. Let's call Robert and see what he's doing today. Robert is my foreman on my project. Another day in the life of time, huh? <laughs> Just go straight down. Just keep going straight, go all the way down to the uh, end, turn, uh, turn right. What's going on, buddy? Not much, did Pedro show up? Okay. Talk about Juan or Jose. Okay. So. All right. All right. Let me call him right now and see where he's at. And then from there, I'll make him come over here, okay? Right here where this dumpster is. Okay. Yeah. We can just start side. We're all going by. So we're we're pulling up to our next destination. So this is 1234 Iowa Street, guys. We just pretty much started this one not too long ago. And uh, now we're done all the demo and everything. So now what we're gonna do is let's see what phase we're at and see about what design we're gonna be doing. Hey Robert. Yeah. That's good. Let's get it. All right. All right. So you see, we're already started doing our demo here. Uh, we're pretty much at a point where we're going to be almost ready to frame. We're taking out this wall here, opening this space for the living room, dining room, and then. Uh, we're just going to be doing our addition, stuff like this. This is going to be the living room. We have a, a, a bedroom here. It's, it, this is kind of different. What's up, Pedro? How you doing? Don't, don't worry. But come on, Pedro. You, you're going to be, you're going, I'm going to make you famous, baby. I'm going to make you famous. So Pedro is one of my uh, 
Carpenters does a really good job, and uh, you know he helps doing all the things that we're going to be doing. We're going to be closing it. We're going to add that door here, right, Pedro? No, it's going to be a uh, small hallway right here. Yeah, okay. Opening right here, all the way across over there. Okay. It's going to be out. And all this is going to be out. This is going to be the open the uh, the kitchen and the dining room. So, uh, you know, I really let my guys uh, have a lot of input. They'll tell me what we shouldn't do or tell me that, but for the most part, I try to design everything, and then they'll. Tell me if I'm making a big mistake or not, or what I should do. But uh, this is going to be, uh, like I said, open floor plan. We walked into the living room. This is going to be pretty much the kitchen. And we open up this wall. We're going to blow out this wall here and make this into a uh, the dining room. It's going to be an open floor plan, just nice and open flow. Um, like I said, again, we're at a point where we're trying to get as creative as we can and uh, really just... Uh, you know, just give them something on the east side that, on the east side of San Antonio, uh, they do call this Denver Heights, that is the east side. We're just trying to give them something more than just a, a home with some walls. So, you know, with the help of my guys, they do a good job. So when you follow us through here, again, this wall here is going to be eliminated. This is going to be the dining room. We're going to have a, uh, Pedro, on this one, we already talked about, we're going to have this going into the uh, bathroom, right? We're going to take out. So yeah, this, from right here, we're gonna have a, a U wall right here. Yeah. Going downstairs to the basement. Right. We have a we have stairways here. I know, guys. Let me show you this real quick, so you, you really, really, it's gonna be crazy when you get to see it. We have a bathroom here right now, and under this house, there's a basement with accessible to the outside. So, and because it's historic. You know, we can't really add a lot of space unless you're doing all the things we need to do. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take out this whole bathroom. And then from there, we're going to have stairways going down to the basement and make that a whole room down there. It's going to be really, really different. You don't have that here in this neighborhood. So we're, we're going to try to take advantage of all the space that we can. And um, I think that's going to be very special. It's going to be a bedroom with a, with, a, with a bathroom. We're still playing with that to make sure that we can do that with the city. But uh, from there, this is going to be... Uh, we're going to take some of this away. We're going to cheat a little bit this wall. And then we're going to have stairways here, but then we're going to have a bathroom coming right in here. And then from, from the bathroom, we'll have a closet, and then we'll have all our master back here. It's going to be really, really good. But, uh, you know, there's, uh, there's nothing my guys can't do. I just tell them what I want, and they just knock it down. Like I said, this, is a, this house is in the historic district, so we have to make sure we uh, maintain the character with the windows uh, and make sure that we comply with what the uh, city and the historic district uh, committee at, make sure that we do what we're supposed to do. And we'll do all that. But again, we'll pull all the permits. We'll make sure everything's done. The electrical, the plumbing, AC, all those things will be new in this house. And um, we'll rock and roll. It's going to be exciting. So here, back here, like I said, this is going to be the master. We'll blow out this wall here. What we were doing back here, Pedro, we talked about it. We're going to close this off. Yeah, we're going to close this off. Make the hallway back there, that's right. Yeah, we're going to come back uh, two and a half feet that way. Uh -huh. This is going to be all the master right here. We're going to have an opening right here for the master, uh, master restroom. So I was going to go somewhere right here. Right. And then right, I was going to be closed off, right here closed off, and then right here we have our laundry room. Have our laundry room. And they'll have access to the laundry from the from the living room, right, right. So let me let me did we open this up, Pitch? Yeah. So let me show you. This is what we're talking about. And like I said, it's very different. This is that this is that basement I was talking about. So it's uh it's imperative that we you know we use up all of our space. So what we're gonna do is go in the basement. Don't get scared. <laughs> There's a lot in there, Pet. Uh, down here, you see the basement. You have a lot of concrete, very strong pillars and everything. Uh, we've checked. There's no water leakage or anything like that. So we're going to completely, completely waterproof it, cement it, re, uh, redo everything to make sure there's no leaks in here. And then what we're going to do is this is where that area is that we're talking about where the stairs are going to come down from that bathroom that's there now. So once we eliminate the bathroom, take out everything there, we have the stairs run down here, and then the walls will go. We'll build walls around it, 
and make this a bedroom. And then we're talking about putting a, uh, the bathroom right here. So like I said, it's, a, it's an incredible idea. I really don't know how I came up with it, but I just like this space down here. I think it'd be fun. So once it's all said and done, all of these pipes will be gone because we'll replace all the pipes. We'll keep, this is, the, this, is tie, this pipe here is tied into the city, the sewers. So we have to keep that pipe and then everything else will run off of it. But like I said, we'll get rid of made all, this, all this old stuff. We'll put in a new pipe, new pipe and everything. And uh, I think it'd be very exciting. So next time you'll come, you see all this stuff will be gone. Uh, and then you'll be able to see the, uh, the progress that we made. But I think it's going to be a very, very good, very good design. Very good design. I'm pretty, I'm excited about this one. I really am. So once we come back outside, you know, we have to, like I said, we have to stick within our confines of what the historic district allows us to do. We have an old shed garage, so we're going to redo this, have a, uh, have a garage here so we can use this space because it's already here and uh, redo it. And then we'll just have a driveway coming in so they have access to that. And then we'll, we'll have a deck back here uh, within the limits of what the city will let us do. So on this house also, just like the other house, the siding's pretty good. We'll keep it. Uh, and we'll just keep the, his the historic uh, beauty of the home and the history of the home. We'll keep it intact. But uh, I, I think, like I said, once it's all said and done, it'll be a good one. It'll be a good one. We'll surprise people again. <laughs> so where's the uh, one? At uh, crates. You want to go help out uh, Robert unload the material? Okay. All right. Well, let's get it going and let's make it happen. Okay. All right, Pedro. See you later. Sure. Thank you, peace. That was 1234 Iowa. And now we're going to go down to uh, 6, 614 Iowa. This is another house we just sold, 1142 Iowa. We sold that one there. We did that complete. We uh, have Chevrolet on this street. A lot of a lot of things are happening on this street. My phone is calling me. Here's another house we're doing right now. It's 1018 Iowa. We're almost at the completion phases of that. Out of the work. Did uh, Pedro come up there? Can we do it? All right, let's get it done. All right, bye. That's one of my, uh, well, that's not one of my, that's my foreman, Robert. He's uh, one of the foreman, he's my foreman that I have on all my jobs. Me and him also run all the job sites. So he's at a property at 1525 Cincinnati and we're trying to fin finish that job. We're, we're doing some flooring right now at this job. So this is uh, Iowa. It comes all the way down, down here towards the city. We're gonna pull right here. And if you look right here, we just pulled up to this house here. <laughs> wow. uh, yeah, he's like. <laughs> It's crazy. This house, when we first went in this house, we uh, we got bombarded, bombarded with fleas and ticks. So we had to come in, we had to fumigate it, thing. Now, on this house here, what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna make this a two-story house. And uh, I got that idea because of this. Let me show you something. If you notice, you got a, a, a new house here that's for sale. Uh, this house here on the corner for sale. So on Iowa Street, on the corner of Iowa and Cactus, you got a lot, all these corner houses are for sale. Well, this house we're doing right now, see? And we, we did this house over here. So what in the world is this? Why are these dogs in this yard? Come on, come on, come on. Boys. I don't know whose dogs these are. 
Come here. Come on. How are these dogs in here? So I don't know whose dogs they are, but they can't be in here. Come on. Come on, go. Come on. Go on, buddy. Come on. Whose dog are you? Come on. Come on, big guy. Come on. Whose dog? Come on. Come on. There you go. You can't be inside there, buddy. So I don't know whose dogs those are, but these aren't our dogs. So this is a house that we're doing that we just finished. We're almost complete with this house. And on 328 Cactus, this house here, we just finished probably about four or five months ago and we sold it. We bought this corner lot and uh, redid this house. And now we're doing this house here. Looks like a big mess. So uh, we're gonna go in here and see Mr. Jose. Que pasó, amigo? That's about my extent of my Spanish, so I'm not trying to be bilingual. I wish I was, so no disrespect to anybody out there because that's all I know. <laughs> but anyway, this is Jose. Jose is one of our uh, one of our top carpenters. I rely on him to do a lot. He builds most of our houses. He uh, Right now he's just doing some demo, getting rid of some things so that he can uh, start uh, making her a two-story. And truly right now where we're at in this is we're waiting to finish up the leveling, but we want to not get ahead of the game, knock this down. So we can't move forward on this house until our engineer comes out and uh, approves us with the leveling. So we've already leveled, but we're knocking it down. We're trying to stay ahead of the game, try to stay busy. I try to keep all my guys busy so that, uh, you know, one, they're, they, uh, you know, they're getting paid for what they do. Because I don't want them not to make money. I don't want them to not be able to work. So at this property here, we're just waiting for the approval from the engineer to come and inspect the leveling that we've done so that we can move forward with the building process and the framing. This house here, it doesn't look like much right now. And they all look like that when we're at this phase. But this house is going to have a full wrap downstairs, upstairs, full wraparound balcony all the way around it. It's going to be incredible. You'll be able to see all phases of the city going this way, that way, into the Tower of America. And, you know, we were talking about that earlier in our other picture. So with this, this view, you have this right here. You have the city of San Antonio, the tower. You know, San Antonio is famous for the tower. So what we're going to do here at this house is we're going to make sure that we captivate that and we're going to make sure that this house, when they come out and sit around their balcony, they can be able to see the city. And I, I think that's a, that's a very, very beautiful thing. Wait till fireworks come. Then they'll appreciate it even more once we get done with this house. So we're done here. And, uh, you know, we have this house in the corner. And we have a house that we just did here, which is 328 Cactus, which is sold. The uh, people in that house are, uh, are great homeowners. They appreciate our work, and we're just excited to keep doing what we're doing. We're, we're just excited. So we're done for the day. We're done for the day. Thanks for following us on this, uh, this episode of uh, Keith Jones Real Estate. I really, really appreciate you guys watching us. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Follow us on our YouTube channel. Most importantly, follow us at Keith Jones Real Estate. And nice. peace.